If you're interested in feeding hummingbirds, orioles, butterflies, and some bees, the best feeder that I can recommend is actually to get an oriole feeder. An oriole feeder will cover all of those different birds and, and butterflies, etc. Whereas a hummingbird feeder will restrict the oriole bird from eating. Oriole birds also love Welch's uh, grape jelly, so you can put that out as well. Some feeders have little containers that you can put the jelly into. The honeybees and bumblebees, etc., are not likely to come to the feeder unless it's been a really bad season. For instance, if we've had a ton of rain so that the flowers are not putting out nectar, then you could see bees coming to your feeder. So that would be an indication that it hasn't been a good year for them or maybe the last few days just haven't been that great. There is a chance in future as the season progresses in summer, late summer to fall, that the yellow jackets will find the feeder and they will feed from it and possibly some of the black-faced hornets as well. They haven't been a problem for me. I can walk up and remove it, remove the feeder and walk away and refill it and then put it back and, and not be stung. I just move carefully and gently. So if you are putting up a feeder and you're concerned about that, make sure you place the feeder away from where you would normally walk on a regular basis, just so you're not bumping into each other. Only use white cane sugar to make this mixture. Never use honey or, or brown sugar, molasses, or any other kind of sweetener. Only white cane sugar. The other things you could use can kill or make them sick. Also, it is totally unnecessary to add food coloring to the water. They will find the sugar water mixture with no problem.